Gene interviews Bobby Heenan and Harley Race. So here's a fun fact about Harley Race in this show. Oh, I know what you're going to say. He was one month short of his 45th birthday. He was 44 years old. He was younger than you and me. I, actually, he's younger than you. I am also one month short of my 45th birthday. Really? So within like a week or two. Wow. We are the, I, am, I am now the same age as Harley was on this show. Well, what's also amazing, Vinny, is that Ken Patera on this show... I'm sure he was... ...was older yeah. than Harley Race. And Harley looked 10 years older than Ken yeah. Patera minimum. And 20 years older than me. Yes. There's a lot of a lot of cigarettes in that man. So they cut a short little promo. They promised again that Hulk will bow and kiss the feet of the King Harley Reese. Gene is very skeptical that we'll ever see Hogan bow. So Gene interviews Hulk. Hulk says Hulkamania will never die. Harley Race is the only thing in his way between WrestleMania and the world title. There's another mention. He only bows to one man, and that big dude walks on water. All the weasel's horses, all the weasel's men will never put the king back together again. So it's Hulk Hogan versus Harley Race. Dude, this Harley Race is noted 44 years old. And, and he's a hard 44 years. Well outside his prime. But god damn, did they have a fun, good wrestling match. It's funny, because Race was the NWA champion for many, many years over and over again. But you put him in here. You put him in this wacky king gimmick, which a lot of people would not have been able to make work. He made it work. You put him in there with Hogan, and he's bumping and selling his ass off like crazy. He fit in perfectly. He may as well have been in the World Wrestling Federation for all those years. It would have been just as successful. He did a lot of wacky overselling. Yes. He moved so slow. <laughs> yes. Although, when he got the heat, he kind of did turn it up. The best part of this match, Hogan, or Harley jumps him at the bell. Hogan doesn't sell it. The story is that Hogan is furious after what happened to last Saturday night's main yes. event. So he's, he's on fire. And he's just, he's beating this guy all over the place. And Harley's bumping all over. And Hogan's music is playing the whole time. Real American is playing as he's ping-ponging King Harley Race all over the ring. He hits a series of clotheslines. He clotheslines him over the top rope. Harley bumps onto this unbreakable Japanese table. Hogan's choking him with his wrist tape. He's doing all of this. Jesse's going crazy. And finally, Bobby Heenan tries to interfere. Race clonks Hulk from behind, and he gets the heat. And you know, Hogan is just the greatest baby face in this era. Yes. Harley's a, a, just a great bad guy. And then they end up outside. Harley puts Hulk Hogan on this table that he had bumped onto earlier and it didn't even move. And Harley is going to miss a headbutt and go through the table. Mm -hmm. That's his plan. Okay. Right. I don't know if on paper the table was supposed to break, but Harley decided, I am going to break this fucking table. So he gets on that apron, and he goes all the way up on his tiptoes, and he puts his arms high in the air, and he falls forward, and the table, there's a massive crack, but it does not break in two. So Harley just did a falling headbutt, to an opponent who moved, yeah, and he's supposed to hit the table and, in theory, be hurt. Right. But he's pissed <laughs> that this fucking table didn't break, and he takes out all of his fury on this fucking table. I was dying watching Harley Race get so pissed off because he couldn't break this fucking table when he's supposed to be selling. Well... <laughs> It's one of those things, I guess. This is a, I, 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 if memory serves me right here, uh, shortly after this, Harley Race legitimately had abdominal surgery. And they claimed it was due to an injury he suffered going through the table here. He showed exactly zero signs of being injured going through a table here. <laughs> he may have been rejuvenated going through a table here. So <laughs> the other great part of this match is somewhere along the way, Vince refers to Race's manager as Bobby the Heenan Weasel. No? All right. So, uh, yeah. 
The other thing about this is we have watched all these Saturday Night's main event up to this point. We've talked about how there there is an evolution of Hulk Hogan that's been going on. As he went from uh, 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 a happier Stan Hansen ripoff to a total cartoon character. I mean, you, there's a gradual transition going on there. And I thought it had changed as of uh, uh, this era. I thought he was going to be Hulk Hogan from here on out. But no, now his title has been taken away from him. He's pissed. He's super aggressive. He's cheating like crazy. He never followed the rules to the letter. He was always a little rough around the edges. But he's, he's like hardcore Hogan here, just destroying Harley Race, choking him like crazy, going for the, the eyes, raking the back. He's, he's, he is angry Hulk Hogan. And it occurred to me that even though on the... On the big, the big picture level, it was always Hulkamania, Hulk Hogan. But you can see, to small degrees, Hulk saw the need to present a different version of himself. He 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 was not the same Hulk Hogan for five years in a row. It changed. It didn't change as, as drastically as someone like Chris Jericho has done. But he made little modifications to his character, so it was always something a little bit new, something always a little bit fresh. He's very, very good at this pro wrestling thing Hulk Hogan was. Well, you also have to remember that Hulk Hogan was... When Hulk Hogan debuted in wrestling, like, that was the prime of Harley Race. And Harley Race had been in the business for 27 years when Hulk Hogan debuted. So there probably was something in Hogan that was like, fuck, I'm wrestling on national television on Saturday Night's main event, Harley Race! And he went in there and he worked his ass off with this guy. That's also true. So they do the obvious finish. Harley tries the diving headbutt. Hulk kicks out at two. Hulk's up, hits a bunch of moves, and the leg drop and wins. Now, obviously, this is the go-home show for Mania 4 and the tournament and all that. But if they had done this match like a month later and Hulk Hogan wasn't going to be champion for another year... Or maybe he'd do it some other year when uh, he, he, he was not going to be in the title picture, but he still wanted to be Hulk Hogan. Can you imagine how fun it would have been if the crown had been on the line and we got King Hulkster? <laughs> oh, would have been wonderful. Well, I think Hogan was above the crown, Vinny. That's probably true. I would have enjoyed it. I think he... Hey, wait a minute. I disagree. A few years after this, he tried to get over... A football helmet with a fist on top. I think you could have tried the crown. I think the crown would have had a better shot of working. Mm. So Hulk wins. Bobby Heenan's post-match bump is the most athletic thing in the entire match. And then Hogan flexes for a long time. Heenan's vault over the top rope. Holy fuck. This guy was amazing. You know, this is a true story. The other day... It's been like six months. The other day I went to Safeway, okay? How is accessibility? I want fucking fajita sauce. Oh, God, here we go. Okay? I want fajita sauce. That's it. I go in the sauce aisle. I go in the spice aisle. It's nowhere. You know where I eventually find it? In the fucking gravy aisle. I was so mad (laughs) that I went home and I tweeted and I demanded my... 116,000 followers. I I offered $100 to anybody who would give me a logical explanation as to why the fucking fajita sauce, the fajita powder, is in with the fucking gravy. And some random guy who may as well... I mean, he may be one of those guys that trolls my ratings thread every week because he had like four followers or whatever. But he said, I worked at Target or Safeway or whatever for three years and I have no idea why they do that. And that made me feel so much better that someone who worked at the grocery store could not explain the fucking decision to put fajita sauce with the gravy that I immediately paypal him $100. I spent, like, a fifth of that going to the fucking grocery store. That's how much I needed to feel better about this fucking mystery. <laughs> 